so now we are calculating the intrinsic carrier concentration ni in a intrinsic semiconductor the number of electrons is equal to the number of holes if we equate the number of electrons is equal to number of holes is called ni this is called as intrinsic carrier concentration intrinsic carrier concentration so by using mass action law the mass action law the product of number of electrons the number of holes is equal to ni square so here i am trying to calculate the intrinsic carrier concentration by using the number of electrons and number of holes in the previous videos we calculated the number of electrons available in the conduction band can be written as 2 to m star kbd by h square whole triple of 3 by 2 exponential ec minus ef by kbt similarly the number of holes this can be written like this so this is the valency band this is the conduction band this is the intrinsic fermi level i'm i'm writing with respect to this arrow p is equal to 2 2 m star kbt by h square whole triple of 3 by 2 i'm writing number of holes so minus ef minus ev by kbt here the difference in energy between the conduction band and the valency band is called energy gap the difference in the energy level between the valency band and the conduction band is called energy gap if we write this eni square if you write this one this becomes 4 multiplying 2 into 4 2 pi kt by h square whole power of cube m e star m e star whole to power of 3 by 2 exponential e v minus e c by k v t so the difference in energy level between valency band and the conduction band this can be written as the energy gap so i'll write 4 2 pi kt by h square whole to power of 3 e m star m h star whole to power of 3 by 2 exponential minus e g by k b t if you write the n i v n i square if you write n i this becomes if you cancel this if you write whole to power of half you will get 2 2 pi k b t boltzmann constant whole to power of 3 by 2 k m e star m s star whole to power of 3 by 4 exponential minus e g by 2 k b t this expression is called as intrinsic carrier concentration so here 2 is a constant this all the factor is a constant m e and m s star is also a constant so this is effective mass of the electron this is effective mass of the hole all the parameters are constant finally the ni is directly proportional to the exponential of minus eg by 2 kb so how to calculate this the n is equal to p is equal to ni this is the intrinsic carrier concentration by using the mass action law 
the product of number of electrons number of holes is equal to n i square so n is equal to n product of n into p whole power of half i know the n i know the p so substitute in the formula that will get the intrinsic carrier concentration directly proportional to the exponential of minus eg by 2kbt